The Toy Maker, written by Martin Waddle and illustrated by Terry Milne. Once upon a time, there was a toy maker called Matthew. He loved making toys. He worked hard all day long, tap, tap, tapping, and stitch, stitch, stitching. He sold the toys he made to the people who came to his shop so that he could make money to keep himself and his daughter Mary. Mary was not strong. She could not go out to play with the other children. She stayed inside and watched them through the shop window. Sometimes she was lonely. Matthew wanted to make her happy, so he made her special toys. They were dolls. He made them very carefully so that each doll looked like one of the children who played outside the shop window. Mary played with the dolls. She called them Max and Lily and Bertie after the children outside. They made her happy. Because she was happy, she grew stronger. At last, she was able to go outside to play. She played and she played and she played. The dolls sat in the shop window watching. Matthew watched too as he worked. He smiled when she laughed because he loved her. No one played with the dolls anymore. Matthew thought that Mary had forgotten them. He put them safely on a shelf at the back of the shop. People saw the dolls and asked, How much for this one? But Matthew said, They are not for sale. They belong to Mary. He would not sell the dolls. Not a single one. For they were his memories and they kept him company. Once upon another time, an old lady came to the toy shop with her granddaughter Jane. The toy shop was empty and deserted. I wanted you to see it just once before it was sold, the old lady told Jane. This was your great grandpa's shop, where I lived when I was a little girl. Was he the one who made my Noah's Ark? Jane asked. He made lots of toys, the old lady said. Where are they? Jane asked, looking round at the dusty shelves. They're gone now said the old lady, and she sat still, gazing through the window. Jane went looking for toys, just in case, and she found some in a dusty cupboard at the back of the shop. They were dolls. She took them to the old lady because she didn't want her granny to be sad, and she thought the dolls might make her smile again. Max and Lily and Bertie, the old lady said. They were my special toys. I played with them here when I was a little girl. Can I play with them? Jane asked. I'm sure they would like that, the old lady said. And Jane put the dolls in the window of the shop where they could see the street outside. An old couple passed by the shop window. The man stopped and looked at the dolls. That's me, Lily, he said. And that's me, said his wife. And that's Bertie, they called to Bertie to come and see. That's you, Bertie, the old man said. They are us, the way we used to be. The old people wanted to buy the dolls and they came into the shop and tried to persuade the old lady to sell them. But the old lady said, they're not for sale. And she would not sell them, not a single one. But they're us, Max said. You've got to sell them to us, Mary. I can't sell them to you, the old lady said. They belong to you already. And she gave her old friends the dolls that were themselves, the way they used to be. The old people were pleased, but Jane wasn't. All the dolls were gone and she had none left to play with. I'll make you a doll, the old lady said, just like the one your great grandpa made for me. And she did. She tapped, 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 and she stitched, 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 very carefully until the doll was made. She made it with love, for she had not forgotten.